Yo, what's going on, everybody, and welcome back to Weekly NFL Predictions Week 11. It just feels normal now that we're in the double digits, but it's it's getting up there, it's getting up there in weeks. Um, but yeah, I guess, let's just get right into it. Starting with Thursday night, I may be recording this on Friday, and that may have happened yesterday. Um, and I may have not really had my own prediction prior to the game, and the Ravens may have won, but... Thinking about it, and thinking to prior, you know, prior than Mark Andrews, Joe Burrow, um, you know, all the injuries that happened last night, um, I don't know, it would have been tough, um, but here's my explanation for picking the Ravens, you know, after they actually did win. Um, basically, I probably would have thought, you know, Bengals coming off a tough loss against um, the Texans, Ravens coming off a tough loss against the Browns, and the Ravens, you know, they were, like, you know, being threatened in the AFC North and with one of the biggest, probably best team with Joe Burrow uh, in the AFC North, besides Ravens. Um, they would really, really want to be win this, you know, Thursday night in Baltimore. Um, I think fans are going to want it. Everyone's going to be wanting it. And uh, just, I would have picked that. I know, it, whatever. I did it after. I don't really give a crap, but... Uh, yeah, Ravens, they got the dub. Now, Raiders, Dolphins. I'll just quickly put my vote in for Dolphins, and yeah, um, this is not going to be pretty. Raiders have like five wins because, I don't know, they've won every game under their new interim head coach. Um, Dolphins coming off a bye, and uh, yeah, Dolphins, way better of a football team, but hey, anything could happen. Steelers, Browns, Browns, you better win this. I have been, like, I just hate the Steelers at this point. I mean, <laughs> I just hate them. They have way too many wins with six wins, and they keep winning in stupid ways because their defense is just good enough to beat on bad and good opponents, and then Kenny Pickett is just bad enough that he can still win and they keep winning because Mike Tomlin just refuses to not go under 500. But I already know the second they get to 500, they are losing every single other game. Um, but Brown's so much of a better team, and I just hope that the Steelers don't get into the playoffs. Um, and maybe Browns could take their spot. The whole AFC North's in the playoffs, but not the Bengals anymore. So, uh, yeah. Browns, please, please win. I didn't even mention, you know, their quarterback, Deshaun Watson, is out for the rest of the year. But, I mean, I love DTR. Um, and they also have P.J. Walker, so please, Browns, your defense is so good. Just please, man, please. Now we got the Titans and the Jaguars. Yeah, J uh, Titans are pretty bad. You know, Will Levis had that one really cool game, and then he's on the Titans, so yeah. And the Jaguars, they're a playoff team, mainly because they're winning their division, but yeah, last week was not pretty against the Niners, but, I mean, Niners are a powerhouse, especially now with Chase Young. And I think Jaguars are just going to be getting back to their normal ways of winning. Now for the second matchup of the Jets and the Bills. First time this happened, Josh Allen threw three interceptions, two to the, first, to the same guy, and Aaron Rodgers got hurt. So hopefully Aaron Rodgers doesn't get hurt again. I wouldn't expect him to since he is not playing. Um, and, yeah, it's in Buffalo. I don't think the Bills are going to be wanting to let the Jets win again. I mean... That was pretty bad game, um, that first one, and I, I just, Bills have been so inconsistent. I could honestly see the Jets winning, but Bills are just consistent enough that they should be winning this and at least splitting most of their division. Now the Texans and the Cardinals. Originally, in the beginning of the season, this would have been a real toss-up, and I think it might still be. You know, uh, you know, throughout most of the year, it would have been easy Texans, especially coming off of last week. But Kyler Murray, he had a decent game, but I don't think it was decent enough, and Texans in Houston against Kyler, I don't know. Honestly, I could see Kyler having another good game this game, and I mean, he on his own could probably beat the uh, Texans defense, but I mean, they have some good players, so yeah, I don't know. I think it should be interesting, and Texans always beat the opponents that they should, and as long as they do, and they also beat the opponents that they probably shouldn't, so keep up with that, Houston, and I think you should be good. Now, the Green Bay Packers and the Los Angeles Chargers. Oh, boy. This is going to be one of the worst games this Sunday at noon. Um, Chargers, I'm going to pick them to win. 
because they should win, as they always should win. I don't think there's many situations where they shouldn't win, but they always lose. Um... I mean, in Green Bay, it's just, I don't know, man. Packers, they're really, really bad this season. Chargers are the Chargers, so I don't know, man. I'll just choose the Chargers, I guess. Now, primetime game at Broncos Vikings. We got Joshua Dobbs taking over the NFL. And Broncos on a hot streak. Um, if, he w if Broncos win this, they'll be back-to-back. Um, primetime dubs. If they win this, they'll be three on a three streak after beating the Chiefs and the Bills. So I don't know. They might be on a roll here. It's in mile high, and I don't know, man. It's tough. The Broncos' defense has regressed considerably since last year, and if they had last year's defense, I think they definitely would have been able to stop Josh Dobbs, but they don't, and it's this year. Um, and I don't know. This is going to be tough, but... Mm, I don't know, man. I think I'm going to pick the Denver Broncos. Russell Wilson, he's been looking pretty good. He's actually had some good statistics, um, at least in the past few weeks. So, yeah, I think I'll be picking the Broncos in this game. Now, Chiefs hosting the Philadelphia Eagles. I actually think I'm going to do something terrible because I'm going to miss th this entire game, and, and I I'm an Eagles fan. Yeah, I just... I just hate it. I'm just going to go cry in the corner after this video. Um, but, yeah, this is going to be such a good game. It's in Arrowhead, and both coming off a bye. And I don't know. Chiefs, they have been looking not like the usual Chiefs. Patrick Mahomes has been slightly... Actually, no. Patrick Mahomes has been looking incredible, as he always is. The receivers, though, they need to get a good receiver. Those receivers beside Travis Kelsey cannot catch the football. And I don't know. They lost to the Broncos. They're just, I don't know, man. Chiefs have been inconsistent, at least compared to their usual standards. They still have, like, seven wins. But, I don't know. Eagles, better team, at least this year. And I think they should be getting the dub. So, go Birds. Please win, man. I, I wish I could watch it. <laughs> now, Chicago Bears headed to Detroit Kitty Go Meows. Um... I don't know, it might be interesting, but Lions, way better team, and uh, yeah, I don't really know what the Bears have been doing, um, so yeah, I guess choose the, choose the kitty hats, go Lions, I guess. Now, Cowboys, Panthers, you're welcome, Cowboys, for getting another garbage win against a garbage opponent, that will just boost Dak's statistics, and then, I don't know, you're gonna lose before the championship game. Good for you, Cowboys, woo, so impressed. Now, Giants, Commanders. Commander's going to be wearing their all black, which I don't know why people hate on it. You got to look at the uniform, not, I don't know what people look at. It's not bad. It's all black. I know it doesn't go with Commander's at all, but it looks good. Um, I don't know. I like it, um, but it's in um, uh, Washington, D.C., and Giants are awful. So, yeah, I don't know. Sam Howell is leading the league in passing yards. What the heck? He is just not that type of guy. I don't understand at all. Um, but yeah, Giants are awful, but they could easily win this. This is just going to be another awful um, NFC East Commanders-Giants game, I guess. I don't know. Uh, yeah, Giants are awful, and Commanders can get wins sometimes. Not usually, though. Now, the Buccaneers and the San Francisco 49ers. Yeah. Niners, I think they're going to be hopping on another one of those win streaks of theirs uh, right about now after destroying the Jaguars. And Buccaneers, whatever, they beat the Titans, doesn't matter. Baker Mayfield, I don't know. They played a good game against the Texans, but they lost. And now they have to play the Niners, so. Now got the Seattle Seahawks and the Los Angeles Rams. Hmm, Rams coming off a bye in SoFi Stadium. And Seahawks, I don't know, they're just, they have too many wins, just like the Steelers. So, I don't know. Should be interesting. Is Matthew Stafford back? I hope he is. I don't know. I think he probably is. Um, but I don't know. I guess I'll just pick the Rams because it's in SoFi. And uh, yeah. Um, now for the teams on by, we've got the Colts. Um, and I don't know. Yeah, I guess they could use it. I mean, they won in uh, Germany. That was certainly a game. And then the Patriots, they lost in Germany. And that was not as much of a game for them. Uh, so they're probably going to be. Hello, what do you want? Anyway, freaking brother running into my room. Ugh, so short. Anyway, 
Um, the Patriots, yeah, as I said, they're probably going to be needed. Bill Belichick is going to be pissed. And I don't know how much energy he has left. I mean, aren't they talking about trading him or something? I don't know, man. It's, yeah. <sighs> Not pretty in New England. Uh, now, the Atlanta Falcons... Yeah, they, they could need this. They do have four wins, but they've not been playing like it at all. Um, and, yeah, if, you, if you're going to make it the playoffs in the AFC or NFC South, you're going to need to be, beat some teams, and they're just not good at that. Now, the Saints, uh, leader of the NFC is South. And, yeah, I guess I could use this. Um, and, yeah, anyway, I'm going to go cry myself to sleep because I can't see the Eagles game. And I will see you next week, next time, whenever you want to see me again. See ya.